Tina here with Heroes for Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Hi. In this week's lesson, we're going to talk about how to make water pure. We are in week 21, and if you recall from last week, chapter 20, we talked about the dangers of bad water. Do you recall we talked about what are the dangers of consuming, using water that have been contaminated by things like sewage or, you know, oil spills in your daily activities. What well, are some downsides to that? We talked about that in this week's lesson. We're going to talk about, well, hey, if that's all I have access to is contaminated water, then how can I purify that water so that it's usable and fit for my use? We're going to talk about that in this lesson. Now, let's open up with a word of prayer and we'll get right into it. We thank you, Lord, for this time. We have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good work. So what are some ways we can make water pure? The number one way that's used all over the world, especially in places where bad water is really easy to get access to, where purified water is really difficult to get access to. The way they change their bad water into good water, or you might say purified water, is by boiling it. Yeah, they just take a load of water, however much water, they boil it, and what the what boiling will do is it will kill off the germs in the water, and the water, after it cools down, will be safe for consumption. The number two um, thing we're gonna talk about today is filter your water. You wanna make your water pure, filter it. There are filtering systems that you can get access to, um, and whenever you use those filtering systems, the system will clean out all the dirt, all the germs, and all of the filth, and leave you just with a bowl of clean, purified, edible water. The third um, way to purify your water is by adding a small amount of alum to your water. Now, alum is, if you have your workbook there, you'll see an image of it. You can just add a, it's a, um, basically a chemical, oftentimes used in pickles or things like that, things you're trying to, um, to, to do for if you want to pickle something, maybe sauerkraut. Um, you, so you want to add alum to your water and what it'll do is it'll make your dirt and the particles in the water settle down to the bottom and then you just pour out the clean water that stays on the surface and discard the dirt water. The fourth way you can purify your water or make it pure is by adding just a small amount of disinfectant to the water. If you add a small disinfectant, amount of disinfectant, it'll kill off the bacteria and viruses that may be in the water. The fifth way you can purify your water is by adding chlorine to it. Yes, chlorine is known most often for its use in swimming pools. We use it to keep our swimming pools clean because when children jump into the swimming pools, in comes dirt and lots of other things, uh, filth that can come with children and adults of all ages. And uh, because those big old pools are used for the public, if you've ever gone to a public swimming pool, what we do is we add a little bit of chlorine to the water so that as people are trafficking, trafficking in and out, you are able to keep the water sanitized for the next person who gets in. And the sixth and final way you can purify water, the final way we'll be talking about today, is by evaporating and condensing the water. You can actually evaporate the water and um, condense it. What that is, is to, dirty water is a mixture of clean water and dissolved particles, such as impurities. So water which contains these dissolved particles is called solution. The water components of a solution is called solvent and the dissolved particles are called solutes. So what you're gonna do is evaporate the um, water and then condense the, uh, the remainder part of the water. And that will allow you to remove the dirt or the impurities after you've evaporated the good portion, you can leave the dirt and debris behind capturing the good. The, the part that we want. Now, what we're gonna do in next week's lesson is talk about how that really works, what that looks like, what does it mean to evaporate your water, keeping the evaporated or the steam, if you will, and, and leaving behind the dirt and debris. How does that work? So we're gonna demonstrate that a little bit more in next week's lesson. But until then, thank you so much for coming to class and being a part of today's lesson and learning six ways to make water pure. But until next week, God bless. I'll be your hero's body 
And as you study with heroes born, I will be.